look at the difference in anatomy in our feet. Um, look at how your muscles on the top of your feet are so developed compared to my foot. You're an Olympic athlete. You have tremendous amount of dexterity in your feet. And compare that to mine. And look at the engagement and the muscular formations in both of your feet compared to mine. And what's so interesting, because you've been taking a clinic with me for the last couple of days, mm -hmm. and you hear me talking about the ankles and the feet in our boots all the time, mm -hmm. and how maybe I'm lifting up my toes or I'm rolling my foot, uh, and how active my feet are in my boots. And I never thought about the muscular development down in my feet and, and how you point that out. Yeah, and you know, I was looking at the bottom of your, the, the soles of your feet last uh -huh. night after our training when you had talked about foot to foot. And yeah. I was thinking, and I was looking at your feet and I was like, my God, the anatomy of her feet are considerably different, the infant anatomy of my feet. Wow. Um, and that's years of training for you. Yeah. And for me, now it's like, oh, I got to work my feet. I have to learn to develop muscles in my feet and increase dexterity in the ball of my foot, with my toes, with my arches, with the sides of my foot, and articulation with shifting angles. I mean... My foot looks like a freak foot. <laughs> when I look at the, through this camera, my foot to your foot. Yeah. And yeah. our size difference isn't that that different. Yeah. But it, it's like it's like my arm is like the tennis player's arm that swings the racket that's overdeveloped, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, will you take this camera and look at the base of my feet? Absolutely. And talk about what you kind of noticed. So here's Deb's the 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 soles of her foot. So look how look how big that is right there. The ball of her foot right here. Look at look at the the strength in her feet. When I touch Deb's foot, it feels strong and muscular and really developed. Uh, unlike my foot. <laughs> Show me. Yeah, let's see your foot. Take a look at this. Is, yeah, it's really. Wow. It's such a difference. What an interesting concept. Yeah, and 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 on the balls of your foot, yeah. Deb, you yeah. have calluses here and here. And let me show. Yeah. Let me show this. So you have calluses here and here and here, and and these calluses are developed with friction in your shells, right? With a lot of pressure constantly. And look at this, it's evident throughout the entire ball of your foot and on the sides, Yeah. you know? Okay, so, so, what, so what is the lesson here? I'm just curious, with, from your verbiage, what's the message here? Um, the message, well, for me, you know, yesterday when we were doing the foot to foot yeah. work, when yeah. we were doing the foot to work, foot work, uh, you kept talking about like sensations in the feet, and you know, as you become more skilled, right, your your awareness increases with your micro muscles, right, and inside my boot, now I'm paying attention to what's happening in my fore of my foot versus the aft of my foot and laterally. And the arch area. And the arch area. And you know, I hadn't been using my arches before. And this increased awareness about my foot, the anatomy of my foot, uh, and looking at your foot that's really well developed and well articulated, I think it's gonna help me uh, improve my awareness inside the shell of my boot. Yeah.